What is going on everyone? It is the Fountain Pink Ink Geek coming at you with a review of the Parker 17 Lady. Now this is a vintage pen probably made around in the 1960s. Let's go ahead and zoom out. And you can see it's got the typical Parker style hooded nib. There you go. You know, I'm not exactly sure what the material of this nib is. I've heard rumors that it is in fact 14 karat gold, which is that is the case for pen that costs a little under $10, 14 karat gold nib isn't a bad idea. But regardless, whatever this nib is in fact made of, it's extremely smooth, it's beautiful, and then this one is a stub nib. Now as you can see, it's the typical Parker style fountain pen. It's got very classic design. This one's in a burgundy. As you can see, maybe it'd be a little bit hard to see there, but we'll get some high res pics for you. It says right there on the side, Parker 17 Lady made in England. Got the typical Parker arrow your hooded nib. The pen is a relatively small pen. That's where the, the term lady comes from. It was meant for women. It is relatively um, small, meant for women's hands. And just for some comparison, here it is paired up next to a G2, Pilot G2. There it is next to that Pilot G2. And here we'll get it next to a Twisby Mini. There you go, sorry about that, just pulling out another pin. Here it is compared to the Twisby Mini. If I can get it to come in focus. Come on. There we go. Alright, now it's in focus. Alright, you can see it next to the Twisby. Ooh, got some ink on my hands. Smaller than the Twisby, but when you post both of them, you're looking at two relatively decent sized pins. Ooh, there you go two relatively decent sized pins. The Parker is gonna be a little bit shorter, but it's not so short to wear as it's annoying or anything like that. All right, let's get this ink off my hand real quick. All right, let's see the uh, writing performance of this pen. And I know that it's a little poor angle right now, but we'll fix that in a second. Pin starts right up. As I said, it is a stub nib, but it's not necessarily a uh, extremely uh, crisp stub. It is in fact a cursive italic. So there's that writing performance. It is a very wet pen, very, very wet. Here it is going to the thin side. And with the thick side, it doesn't like writing on its edges, but it will write upside down quite well. Here, a little bit for the... So you can see just how much of a stub it is. But as you can see, it's a very pleasant writing experience. Um, not only that, the pen is beautiful, it's inexpensive, and I really don't know why anyone wouldn't want to own one. So. Check out eBay, check out your local pen store, anything you can. See if you can find yourselves a Parker 17 lady or not a lady. Regardless, they're very beautiful pens that work very well. Here is a close-up shot. That writing, there you go. You can see that pen blob was not, that was from the G2 earlier, but there is that stub effect. There's the wetness. Let's see how wet that ink still is. So it's still a little wet. Not so wet a little smudge. There's the upside down. There you go. And here's our Parker 17 Lady.